Warnings of a possible strike by terrorists can no longer be taken as a mere talk. It seems the terrorists are determined to hit Kampala. This is after a third-year student of Makerere University rushed to police in panic and reported of having direct communication with the people who wanted him to blow up the university's college of computing. The student, whose identity remains private due to his security concerns, narrated to WBS television how he came in contact with the suspected terrorists. It all started with an online job search that landed him to a farm purportedly based in London. The farm promised to offer him a job. Immediately he finishes his examinations early next month. He was in contact and good communication. Communication that saw one of the unknown bosses come to Kampala, Uganda, and called him on a phone using a local telephone number for a face-to-face -face meeting. The meeting was scheduled to take place in Bukoto, a Kampala suburb, on Monday this week. Upon arrival in Bukoto, his guest was hastened to approach him directly and maintained a phone conversation during which he could describe how the student was dressed, a sign that he was seeing him. The student was given an offer of 15 million Uganda shillings to secretly deliver a package into Makere University College of Computing during examination time, a job he was told he applied for. The student's questions to his guest seems to have raised an alarm that he was not cooperative and at the end, communication stopped, followed by the suspected terrorist phone going off till today. He reported the case at Makere University Police Station, whose officer in charge, Jackson Musinguzi, acknowledges. We got him. He came to us as a student here in third year and he narrated how he had applied for a job in London, Mayfair Hotel. Then uh, someone from Uganda called him here, that is a uh, coordinator of the other hotel in London. So when he reached there, he did not meet them, and they told him to do everything you must achieve by taking some box with the package from Obukoto to Makerere University in ICT building. As a result, Panic engulfed the university as police took up the matter with its anti-terrorism unit to further investigate the case. So definitely when he told us, we took it serious. The counter-terrorism team took him up for interrogation. Then we called the court data, we got the court data of the boy, and he's still resourceful. The reason why you can see we have, really whatever is happening here is happening here for on intelligence. Although security officials reported of high surveillance in the university following the threats, this is what we came in contact with. Vehicles and students moving in and out of the university without intervention of security officers, especially through the Sir Apollo Kagwa Road Gate. So you, if they come, we shall finish them. You don't know the concealments that we have planted in. The moment an explosive goes, that's when you will feel the, the strength of the security of the country. The unknown is the whereabouts of the suspected terrorists and their next destination. Although the Makere student turned down the 15 million shillings offer, we have no knowledge at all of who will be approached next to execute the terrorist job. Kenneth Buire, WBS News.